The Franks once inhabited the land we call Calais and Belgium, before expanding eastward into the Roman Empire as it fell in 477 AD. There were many subgroups of the Franki tribes, however they merged together over time. The naming would have come from the adjective Frank, meaning free, or from the Old English or Norse words Frankia and Frakia, meaning fierce, bold, or insolent. They were known for being skilled with what we now call the Francisca axe, a throwing axe that would have been used for hundreds of years. Although other Germanic tribes also used this style of axe, the Franci were renowned for their skill with it. Clovis I expanded Frank territory from the years 481 to 508, and the Franks inhabited most of what we now call France. He subjugated many other peoples in his territory, and made Paris the new capital. Clovis I is considered many to be the founder of France, and cleared the road for Charlemagne. He also converted to Christianity, leading the way for the rest of the Franks. However, due to Germanic inheritance laws, the Frankish kingdom was still very vulnerable and disunited. As all the male children would inherit the kingdom equally, splitting it up many times, normally into around four kingdoms. The Franks were also big into polygamy, the tradition of having many wives, and this only added to the problem. This changed in 613 AD with Clofar II, who managed to unite the Franks under one kingdom called Austrasia, or Merovingian kingdom through winning civil wars and a bit of luck. He was also a monogamist, having only one wife, which was quite unusual for the Franks. Under Clofar II, all of what we now know as France was united, and it even expanded a little further to the east. However, Brittany was still settled by the Britons. However, this did not last, with the Franks also getting split and the kingdoms infighting. Although when the Franks were united, they were the great power in Europe, only second to the Byzantine Empire. The Franks were also constantly engaged with skirmishes with a Muslim-controlled Iberia known as Umayyad. However, they came out on top more often and stopped the Muslims expanding further into Europe. If not for the Franks, Western Europe would have become much more Islamic, and even Italy would have been threatened. The Franks would over time centralise once they adopted a more Roman-like inheritance system, with only the firstborn male inheriting, with the later Charlemagne being able to truly capitalise on the Frankish power. The Franks would dominate what we now call France, and still rule to this day. They were also responsible for the later cultural creation of Western Europe and its dominance. Modern DNA sampling shows that the French is actually 20 to 30% Germanic, and they are still quite a racially homogenous peoples. However, the French people are more racially diverse than one would think, including Celtic, Romance, Iberian, Mediterranean, and even North African DNA. Be sure to check out my other channel, History Sticks, for the complete, longer, and comprehensive video.